Today we're going to discuss the Hebrew word gevel. Gevel is one of the most basic words in Hebrew for man, but it actually comes from the root of overcomer. Part of being a man is, is to be an overcomer, to overcome challenges in life. In fact, I think what really uh, is, is the difference between a boy and a man. So what is it? At what point do we actually become a man? It's the point where we start overcoming our, our basic instincts, our, our animal nature, where you know our, our, our logic, our rationale, our spirituality helps us come to the point where we're no longer just a boy who runs after all of his his uh, passions in, in, in life. We're overcomers. Very special scripture in Psalm 37 about gever, about the overcomer. It says that the, the steps of a gever, the steps of an overcomer, are ordered by God. And even though he falls, he won't stay down because God upholds him with his hand. So I, I think there's a special blessing on life, uh, in life for people who are overcomers. Another very special word that we, that's similar to gever is gibo, which is, in Hebrew means a hero, somebody who's an overcomer, who's, who's tackled the great challenges and we look to them as a role model, they're, they're a gibo. And the, and the ones that are super, super, super role models, what we call superheroes, would be a gibo al. In, in Hebrew. So I hope that uh, all of us can be overcomers in life, uh, whether you're a gever or a giveret, which is uh, the, uh, another word for a woman or a lady in Hebrew. Both men and women, of course, can be overcomers and should be overcomers. Thank you very much and keep tracking with us.